Let's talk about exponential functions. These guys, don't give me that look. These guys are super <laughs> awesome. Uh, basically, we're going to define them to be this. We're talking about if a is greater than 0 and a does not equal 1, then your exponential function is given by f of x equals a to the x. So this defines this defines an exponential function this defines an exponential function with base a this defines an exponential function with base a uh, there's some properties that we're going to write here for the exponential function and then we're going to talk about what the graphs look like and then we're going to actually graph some of these guys is that an a at the end? that is an a Here off screen. There you go. Yes. Off canter, off screen, off cube. Does that make you feel better? Nothing makes me feel better. <laughs> uh, a to the x <coughs> is unique for all x's, which means it's going to be one to one. That means every x value that I plug in, I get one and only one y value out, and it's 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 a unique value. Okay. Which sadly means there's no symmetry, but that's okay. Number two, if you have the same base, a and a, and you have an expression like this, a to the b equals a to the c, this only happens if b is equal to c. Of course, it goes both ways here. This is what we call an if and only if statement. So with these same bases, if, the, if this is an equation, then these exponents have to be equal. In order to combine them. No, we're not combining them. In, in, order, in order for it to be true. Since, it, since, oh, it's one, since it's one to a, one. A to the second is the same as B to the second, only if yeah, the exponents are the same. Yeah, OK, of course. Well, like if, if, if I said this, if I said 2 to the B equals 2 to the C, these guys have the same base. So the conclusion that we have here is that if these guys are the same base and if this is equal, then th those exponents must be equal, which will open up a new door for us in terms of solving equations. So that's going to be fun. If a is greater than 1, then your function is an increasing function. What does it mean to be an increasing function? Okay, well, let me tell you, to be an increasing function, that means from left to right, you're doing what? Up to the right. You're going up. You're getting bigger, right? It's just like Puzz 3D, going up. You don't remember those commercials? I was think, I was, used to always think that Puzz 3D was the, the bee's knees. Is that right? Is that how you would use that phrase? <laughs> it, was the cat, it was the cat's meow. I always thought that the Puzz 3D puzzles were we're pretty awesome. We got one in my office. <laughs> it's it's you can go to my office and check it out. Okay. It's a clock. And I know what you're probably thinking, Mr. Craig, you had time to build that. This is a three D puzzle that's a clock? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Why is that you've never heard of Puzz three D? No. I thought you were old. Yeah. Older. Ah, you were just oh. pull, you were pulling my leg. Sell it to you. 100 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. You know that I'm not into, you know that I'm not teaching for the money, so I gotta find other ways of increasing my <laughs> revenue. Okay. By the way, this part's going to be edited out. <laughs> I do not take money from students at all. So here's some things that we need to know about these exponentials. If your base is greater than 1, that means you're going to be increasing as you go from left to right. If your base is between 0 and 1, that means you're going to get smaller and smaller from left to right. 
and I know you're looking at me like, that doesn't make any sense. This, you don't believe me. You don't believe me. Take, give me a number larger than one. Be original. Can I say or do anything? Two. <laughs> two. All right, two. If I start making the exponent of two larger and larger, what's two squared? And then two cubed, and two to the fourth, and so on and so on and so on. What's going to happen? It's getting bigger! <laughs> it's getting huge! And see, if we just took like two, three, and four for those exponents, we're, we're missing out on stuff because with exponential functions, you could even talk about what does it mean to be two to the square root of two. You can do things that are irrational. Like, oh my gosh, really? Yes, I know. To do two to the square root of two is kind of crazy. But remember this. The square root of two is about 1.414 and then some other mess out here. So it means if I want to evaluate this, I can start off with what is 2 to the first? I can figure that out. What's 2 to the 1.4? I can figure that out because the 1.4 mm -hmm. is really 2 to the, what is it? It's 2 to the 7 fifths. I can do 2 to the 1.41. I can do 2 to the 1.414. I can keep going out further and further. And what's going to happen is that the more information I put out here for this exponent in terms of a rational number, the closer I can get to evaluating something that's to an irrational number. Because the square root of 2 doesn't have a pattern for the, for the decimal. Okay. But this kind of goes back to the limit. You see that if I in keep increasing this guy as this exponent approaches the square root of 2, then this expression 2 to the square root of 2 will approach a very specific number. Now let's look at some graphs. <coughs>